welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm sharing the second set of shaker cards that I made with the Queen & Company's Beachbound Kit for card sketches 9 through 14 from Kendra's Card Challenge. This is my second video, so if you missed my first video, I will link that above here. But if you haven't heard about Kendra's Card Challenge 2, this is where you can make 15 cards with six sheets of pattern paper. These are the first eight card sketches that I created with this kit, and those were featured in that first video. And I'm gonna go ahead and just sh share with you the process for the second set of cards. This is for card sketches nine through 14. This video has been sped up six times, but it really didn't take me that long to make these cards. I would say between 10 and 15 minutes per card. For this first card here, card sketch number nine, I wanted to split the sentiment up because my sandcastle is directly in the center of my card. And so I'm using a little sticky, post-it sticky thing <laughs> to mask off some of the words so that I can put the shore do on one side and then miss you on the other. This is card sketch number 10, and I originally thought I was going to cut out that little corner piece where they're overlapping, but then whenever I put the surfboard on top, I noticed that it was going to show, so I decided not to do that. But because I'm putting that surfboard and that's my shaker piece on top, you won't really notice it anyway. This is card sketch 11, and I am trying to just stamp straight the sentiment that says enjoy your day, and I got it a little crooked, so I'm redoing it on the other side. But this card is pretty straightforward. Instead of doing it landscape like the card sketch 
originally came, I decided to turn it because I wanted to feature both the swimsuit and the swim trunks on this card and I thought it looked better turned the other way. This is card sketch number 12, and this is probably one of my favorites. It does have two shaker pieces, the sandcastle and the sun. And I'm taking this little white strip and stamping on it the sentiment that says, have a sensational day. And I'm doing that with some teal ink. And you'll see that I end up adding some seashells to the very bottom of this card. I thought it needed some other little something, and I had these extra stickers from a sticker pack that I bought from Michaels and I thought it really added to the card and I think that's probably why it's one of my favorites. Now card sketch number 13 actually makes two cards. So you'll see me making both cards here. And I decided to use the pattern paper with the waves and the flip flops. And I just cut both of those at a diagonal and decided to pair those up. And you'll see that I'm stamping on here with some Versamark ink, two different sentiments. And I'm white, I'm heat embossing those with some white embossing powder. Um, these both turned out super cute. I love this flip-flop paper and both of these are also some of my favorites out of this whole set. This is the final sketch, card sketch number 14. And this one has a lot of those little pieces that were kind of left over from each of the pages. And so this card sketch, depending on the pattern paper that you use, 
Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And because the, the patterns in this paper pad and the beach bound kit, most of the patterns were pretty small, it, it worked out wonderfully. I think that these, this card is probably my favorite card that I've made out of all of the cards that I've made for Ken, Kendra's Card Challenge 2. This one's probably my favorite using Card Sketch 14. It's just so colorful and I, I love all the patterns and prints on these papers. Now you do see me using a T-ruler here. This just kind of helps me to keep everything straight. After adding my finishing touches with the button and the enamel dot, I realized that I forgot to put my sentiment on here. So I'm taking another piece of that same green cardstock. It's actually textured and I'm just stamping the sentiment on there that says sending you sunshine. And I just added that, that right on top. And this is the last card, card sketch number 14. Here are the last seven cards from Kendra's Card Challenge 2 using card sketches 9 through 14. If you missed my first video, again, be sure to check that out. I'll put it in the description box below. If you're interested in joining the challenge, a new one will be posted on July 1st, 2021. So make sure to check that out. Make sure you're a subscriber so you'll receive the notifications for my new video that we'll be posting soon. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.